Uh, hello guys you're welcome again to my channel and please do not forget the first thing you should do is to click on the subscribe button which is entirely free of charge today we are going to continue from our three-dimensional uh, plot in Python to become a data analyst it's not difficult it doesn't take so much all it takes is motivation have a little motivation in programming and you become no doubt a successful data analyst you could earn more than a hundred and seventy thousand dollars per year as Americans are paying data analysts this range so continuation of if you have not watched my first part of uh, my 3d plot please find the video on my channel and watch the first part and so I will continue from a simple way of plotting a three-dimensional plot but this time we're just going to show you I'm going to show you how to plot a wireframe and uh, interpolate this wireframe figure because matplot uh, a module in Python understands when we plot a scatter plot a line plot or even uh, uh, a wireframe all of this I'm going to be showing you even in my next videos to come you are going to see how to make powerful 3d that you can even rotate or uh, look through all our uh, coordinates of this plot not to talk too long so we'll continue now uh, we can say uh, let's start to define another function because to plot a wireframe it has to be a two-dimensional the values or the figures we have here the variables we have here the variables we have here are just one dimension and that's one dimension plotted in a three-dimensional plot but this time we have to build a, a two-dimensional uh, a two-dimensional array or uh, a variable so that um, we can be able to plot this so what we do now is to say uh, again line space as we have normally done and uh, so uh, like I told you I always like copy and paste uh, in, in, in this code because sometimes it's exhausting to start typing so what we do now is um, we already have our line space so we can decide to say um, oh, we can decide to say uh, minus 10 uh, 10 and say uh, 50 so we'll just build we just beat something like that and so we also do the same we can also do the same for uh, y oh come on for y and this time we can say x comma y mm -hmm. now we are using the mesh grid so um, it's going to mesh this two this two uh, variables that we've just that we've just uh, defined uh, into uh, s and y but this time it is better we use uh, something different we use a capital letter so, so that we can differentiate it and so uh, lastly we can also build uh, a capital variable of z and say uh, this variable we say um, is a function it's a function oh come on it's a function it should be a function of x and y now we have these two variables already defined I think um, to see if we have not done anything wrong uh, is telling us that has no attribute line space because I did line space good said it has no attribute function I'm just running oh come on just running this to see sometimes I type okay good now our, our, our variables are all well defined now so what we do now next is um, what we do next is this time we are going to now um, in, in plot our figure but this time we do not say scatter or plot uh, what we say plot uh, 
we say plot underscore now wire wireframe so we use uh, this model called wireframe so now what we do is we need this three now we're able to build a three dimension into it and so um, we can uh, decide to hit plot on this and so we have a nice um, we can see a wireframe plot of this so we can as well uh, decide to define our uh, can also define our color as I've always loved our color to be uh, red we can also define that oh sorry this time we have to use a uh, color because it does not it's, it's telling me it does not understand obviously that uh, does not understand this float that I've just given to it so now um, I can also decide to uh, say set underscore or oh, common uh, because I was using I'll say set uh, set s label uh, set s label that is I'm just trying to label um, my plot which these are basics of course of what you can do you can decide to say set label to be x and I can all do the same so do the same uh, for all so I just decide to say uh, y Z okay but this is a small Z all right so uh, and I say plot plot that show so if I hit this it should give me X uh, Y Z now we see a three-dimensional wireframe plot plotted on this and this um, on this 3d now uh, now what we could do we can also add a title uh, this depend on what we want we can also decide to add a title now where the beauty of interpolation comes in place where I'm going to show you um, is that we are trying to uh, extrapolate extrapolate all the points uh, did I say interpolate sorry we are trying to extrapolate all the points so that um, we do not we do no longer have a wireframe uh, that our wireframe becomes uh, a clean surface a, 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 we do not have um, a net a net kind of uh, in our plot and so to continue to do that we can uh, we can just decide to make a second uh, figure plot I need to uh, we can just decide to make a second figure plot but this time what we do is we use the same we use the same that we've used here decide to use the same yeah but this time we do not call it um, a wireframe mm -hmm. we call it oh did I just clean that we decide to call it a surface now this is the beauty of Python that it understands even certain languages now uh, but another thing it's uh, we just have to define this remember this time uh, for a surface it does not understand color but it only understands our C map because it becomes a map because we are using a, a C map coloration and so uh, we want to remember the arrow stride which are very necessary we can decide to call the arrow stride uh, 2 
and we can also see a uh, C stride uh, C stride we can decide to call this two and uh, we can decide to say let's just call the C map um, uh, I'll just make it I always like to either use hot or red but we just use we just use something like this and let's see autumn hmm? we use autumn for example and so and then lastly we can say uh, let the edge color we do not want edge color so we we'll just say uh, let it be uh, a non we'll just say we do not want to include and so by the time we hit this we should have a nice surface plot as we can see from what we have and this is what we call extrapolating all points now in Python and so uh, in plotting 3d so we can decide to do different things of um, uh, labeling this plot or titling this plot or labeling the axis as well as what we did here already uh, label the plots or whatever so if we decide to even change these to uh, a lot of um, to hot so we find something also quite interesting for us but um, if you want to know in full to get the library of this cmap just put anything error so it's going to give you a full library of the cmap these are the value um, uh, library so you can decide to use any of this I always sometimes use this gist variable I think it's also a nice one it looks like the hot yeah I always sometimes prefer to use it too and if I run that mm. it's going to give me um, also a nice plot so now this is interpolating our our plot now how do we also plot our 3d uh, our bars our lines or whatever plots that we already saw even while plotting uh, uh, .NET CDF and all of this now this is what we intend to continue as well in our next video and please do not forget to subscribe and hit the subscribe button it is entirely free please support this channel share the video and become a data scientist in the twinkle of an eye thank you for watching with us